Uh, we would like to acknowledge now first the presence of Senator Miriam Defensor Santiago. Because of her current situation, we will, al we will allow a little bit more leeway than the normal five minutes given to each senator. Uh, but we would also like to, after Senator Miriam asks her questions, go by the sequence of arrival from the senator. Senator Soto, you have an additional uh, clarification, sir. I thought you were going to ask if we are going to object. I will object if you do not allow her to speak first. Because I know she will be able to breathe more life into this investigation. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you for your manifestation, Sen uh, Senator Soto. I think we share that uh, opinion. And we will allow Senator Miriam now to ask her questions. Ma'am. I would like to thank Senator Soto for his kind words. Madam Chair, before I arrived, I understand that you said you do not, you do not encourage or, in fact, you discourage the showing of the video that has been going viral on YouTube. I have two versions of this video. One is the raw footage, and the other is the edited version. In the edited version, we do not show the face of the victim lying prostrate on the ground, because that, for me, is the height of gruesomeness. And I am also bothered by the fact that the family are entitled to a right of privacy. However, this video, whether edited or not, can be admissible as evidence in court. And sooner or later, it will only, it's only a matter of time. Once it is authenticated, it will be shown in court. May I therefore beg the Honorable Chair to reconsider her previous statement, not immediately, but after consultation with all the members of the three committees who are sponsoring this hearing. If I may just answer that, my, my statement, uh, Senator Miriam, is as uh, members of this uh, panel investigating it in the Senate, we need to be able to watch that video. And the clarification just lies on whether or not during the hearing we will present the video for the media to be able to cover it from the hearing. I would, I would uh, respectfully suggest that perhaps at the time that we present the video, we will ask our resource persons, those who would rather step out of the session hall, uh, to please do so if they don't want to view the video, but for the, for the media to please uh, point their cameras away while we are viewing it, I, um, unless, of course, the body will uh, object to this. But there are certain members also of the, uh, the resource group that should stay to be able to authenticate this. So if, if you feel that you cannot take it, you, you need to be able to raise your objections and reasons behind it, Madam Senator. I hear and obey. I hold these two versions available for whenever it might be needed by the committee. I will now proceed. I have questions for General Napenias. Could you kindly raise your hand, sir, since I cannot see very well. Thank you very much. Please take your seat. General Napenias, as SAF, which I will call SAF in this hearing, unfortunately, you assume command responsibility for the fiasco. That is your misfortune. Why did you not coordinate with the military units on the ground? so that you could have provided support to the South policemen when they were beleaguered. The coordination with the military on the ground, ma'am, as is as, uh, planned during the mission planning is the time on target that the assault force are Yes, I know about your time leader. on target defense. But why did you not earlier coordinate with them so that they could deliver the help when it was needed? As it was, the help arrived too late. That yes, is your, the question. Yes, Your Honor. The, re, the very reason is to avoid that the operation would be again compromised because of the previous operations that we did this kind of operations in coordination with the armed forces of the Philippines. The operations were aborted or compromised, oh, Your Honor. So the first operations, you cooperated with the AFP and the operations were aborted. So on that reasoning, you said, we will not coordinate with the FP ever more. Is that correct? Is that going to be the permanent attitude of the, P of the PNP? The coordination will be already time on target, Your Honor. Well, you saw already that it failed. According to your logic, in the past, when the two coordinated, there was a failure. Now that you see that there is no coordination, it was a failure, you will still continue, you, you, you 
do you intend to say that you will continue on that line of argument? The reason for... Nag-fail na nga eh. Nag-fail kayo noon. Sama-sama kayo, nag-fail kayo. O ngayon, kayo lang na pulis. Sa kanya nyo itayam on target ang mga sundalo. Di nag-fail din. O, ano ngayon ang rason mo? Your Honor, if I may qualify. Yes, of course. The operations in January 25 of... I'm sorry, April 25, 2014... It was not really a complete failure. It was aborted because of the withdrawal of the mechanized brigade units that is that are supposed to support us in the operation, Your Honor. Atin na natin, maya maya. Why did you fail to inform Acting PNP Chief Leonardo Espina about our plan Exodus? Why did you inform your Director General only by a text message sent by you and only after the operation was already underway? Ngayon lang ako nakarinig ng boss ko, hindi ko sasabihan kung anong nangyayari kung hindi sa kalagitnaan na malapit ng matapos. Yan, sagutin mo. Yes, Your Honor. I inform Police Deputy Director General Espina when the troops are already on the ground on the basis that first the mission as early as April and November and in December. It's a continuing mission already. And that authority delegated on me. The uh, second, that the reason why it's because of the advice then of police. Uh, that is I'm not sorry. acceptable. That uh, is not acceptable. Four years nyo hinabol-habol itong si Usman na ito at si Marwan. Kaya, for you to say, hindi na kailangan kausapin ko ang mga tao kasi nag-usap na kami. Noon pang apat na taon nang lumipas. Ganon pang ginagawa nyo? It's not... Likely really to fail. It's not four years, Your Honor. The... Well, the, how many years were you planning catching, chasing him around Mindanao? How many years were you doing that? Four years, Your Honor, but oh, I'm referring to the continuing operations which started in April 25, 2014, then All in right. November 29, 2014, then on December 12 and 13 of 2014, Your Honor. Why was there a time gap from the time SAF first appealed to help for help until help arrived at the time when it was already too late? May time gap eh. Hindi dumating ka agad ang army. Your Honor, I am sorry. I cannot answer the, the reason why there was a time gap on the help from the army. Let it remain. Why were the ceasefire mechanisms not applied to this operation? Nag-usap-usap ang maraming tao dito, daming media reports na meron tayong mga mekanismo, meron tayong mga procedures, one of them the ceasefire mechanism. O ngayon, meron na talagang a situation that called for the mechanism to be implemented, hindi na-implement. What is, what is the answer? There is a ceasefire mechanism that as far as high-value targets or high-priority targets, Your Honor, the 24 hours notice is not included in that respect, Your Honor. What do you mean by that? If there's a surgical strike, you don't need 24 hours notice. Yes, Your Honor, that is the exception if the target is high priority or high value Dalito targets, Your Honor. When did the operation start? I submit to you, sir, that the timing was very bad. The Muslims are already awake before 5 o'clock because at 5 p.m. they start the first prayers for the day. Kaya kayo na huli eh. Kasi gising na silang lahat. Tapos, dahil nagpotuka na para makuha na nga yung Marwan, narinig ng ILF base commander at tumakbo na din sila doon. Kaya ang nangyari, as shown in the video that we shall soon be seeing, na trap sila and right in a cornfield. In a cornfield, maisan. Tapos wala namang prior na strategizing on how to best enrich the security of that area and how best to use the trees around that area so that hindi matrap as it was they were like rats drowned without any help, uh, without any prospect of support they fought heroically these 44 are heroes of the country but they ran out of bullets they fought under the run out of bullets oh eh bakit Ang dami kong pagtatanong dito. Ang una na lang ay ganito. Uh, sa intelligence na ito, bakit hindi kayo pumunta ng maaga pa para hindi pagising ang mga Muslim? 
Kasi alam nyo, alas 5 ng umaga, ang first player nila, di, dapat pumunta ka mas maaga pa, alas 4 halimbawa mo. When did the operation start? The operations started as early as December, uh, January 24. No, 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 in terms of time, that day. Yeah. The time that Anong the oras? assault force should reach the target, according to plan, Your Honor, it's at 2.30 in the morning. Oh, pati sila umabot doon. Ano na naman ngayon ang rason ninyo? Yun ang plano ninyo? Bakit hindi nagayari yun? There were intervening factors that ah, happened along the ah, way, Your Honor. That means you're a failure. You're incompetent. Because you cite intervening factors. When you make a plan, there should be no such factors. The plan should proceed very smoothly, if not perfectly. The currents were very strong. The terrain was, not as, was, as, was worse than we thought. Ang daming rason doon. Eh kayo nagpaplano eh. Ang problema sa iyo, sir, is that you are assuming full responsibility for the operation. As I will show later, I doubt very much your statement that you were in full or sole control of that operation. That is why my questioning should not be taken as if I have prejudged you as guilty. I'm only showing na maraming pagkamali doon sa operation na yon, ang timing niya, ang execution niya. At papakita ko maya-maya na hindi nagaling sa iyo lahat ng detalye na yon. Kaya hindi ka dapat you should not be blamed for the whole fiasco. Ngayon, ang staff may defensive position sa cornfield without any cover. Saan ang platforms mo? Saan ang army mo? Saan ang navy mo? Saan ang ground troops mo? That was my original question. Pagkatapos, they were trapped there dahil nagising ng BIF, ang MILF doon sa kapakapatay kay Marwan at nagising na rin ang BIFF. So the men literally walked through a trap. There was nowhere they could go because their escape routes were fully covered by the gunfire of the enemy. That is why we call this a massacre, not an encounter. This is not an encounter. It was a massacre. Dahil pumunta sila dyan sa gitna nitong quadrangle na ito, dyan sila. Wala silang cover dito sa mga punong kahoy na ito. Wala silang cover from the air or from the sea, if there is any. Diyan lang sila, at kulang pa sila ng bala. Kaya, nang naubos ang bala nila, all that the MILF and the BIFF did was to go there and shoot them individually one by one. That is a violation, a direct and brutal violation of the Geneva Conventions of War. When the, when the enemy is already in French, or the combat, ibig sabihin, he's no longer able to fight back. He should not be done any more, any longer harm, but he should be taken as prisoner of war, if necessary, and if that is available. Hindi eh, inisa-isa sila eh. They were just sitting ducks there. Kaya sa video makikita natin, ipapakita natin, maski yung edited version, hindi pinapakita ang mukha ng tao, dahil it's so gruesome, it will infest your nightmares. Now, tamaan lang sa paa, sa paa pinuntahan niya, tapos binaril niya sa ulo, twice. Wala siyang pakundangan. That's the people who are going to sign a, an agreement with, the Barang Saporo Basic Law. Pagkatapos, maliban dyan. May dala pa siyang kamera, may baril siya, may kamera siya. Kayabang yabang na tao kasi upload niya sa video, sa YouTube. Dahil parang trophy niya yan, eh. trophy war niya yon Ganon ang klaseng kalaban meron tayo. All right, now, I will go directly to the next question. Reportedly, he went to the headquarters of the 6th Infantry Division and asked for help. But the people were caught by surprise. Nagulat sila. Ito klaseng operation itong may gulatan. Apparently, there were no quick reaction forces. Where were your quick reaction forces? There were no target reference points for delivery of indirect fire. No Air Force strike assets to take off and deliver supporting fires. No armored assets ready to move on pre-planned lanes to support the troops. No forward observers who could have advised the fire direction center to adjust the fires. I understand that the quick reaction forces like scout ranger battalions are deployed out of central Mindanao, which covers Surigao del Sur, Sulu, Basilan, and Bukidnon. O bakit walang itong mga ito? Commander, answer me. 
why did your troops not avail of this help? Because it was not, it was not there on the spot. The forces committed to support the operations have occupied the respective positions, Your Honor. We have a reaction force along the, the Maharlika Highway that provided support to the company that was uh, pinned down inside. As to the target reference for artillery support, Your Honor, I'd like to inform you, Your Honor, that as early as 7.30 in the morning, Police Chief Superintendent Talino went himself together with our operations officer to the headquarters of the Mechanized Brigade. Then I forward him a text message indicating the grid coordinates where our sub troops were engaged. If I may read, ma'am, the text message that I, said, I texted to Police Chief Superintendent Talino. That is about 6.52 in the morning. Na-engage sub troops doon sa malapit ilog 2 kilometers east of Barangay Tukalanipaw. Grid coordinate 67983-65714. Bandang gitna going to target. Again at 7.53 in the morning, I texted again Police Chief Superintendent Talino, Noli, location of sub troops, GC Grid coordinate 68006-65717 and 68234-65056. Nasa paligid ng first grid coordinate mga kalaban at tuloy pa rin heavy firefight. Baka pwede hingi artillery support. O, oh, nag na pala ng artillery eh. Yes, Your Honor. The response of Police Chief Superintendent Talino with, res with respect to my text message is this, Your Honor. At 7.58 in the morning. Excuse me, please forgive me. I don't need those facts and figures. The fact is this was a failure. Nothing succeeds like success. Nothing fails like a failure. No matter what you tell me about who sent what messages, the thing is 44 Filipinos are dead. They will never live again. We'll never see them again. Who are the people who are responsible? Who are the people behind your back? You have assumed full command responsibility. You have acted as a gentleman. But I want to know who were the people pulling the strings behind you since you are not the commander-in-chief of the PNP. Let that be a rhetorical question. Last, next question. What was the role of the U.S. government in this operation? At the very least, it was the government which announced financial rewards for the capture and death of the terrorists. How do you respond to the rumors there was lack of coordination between the DND's operatives and the SAF because each group wanted the reward money for itself the exclusion of other groups? Yan. Five million pinag-awayan eh, na mga matay. Your Honor, may I respectfully say that the reward will never go to any police organization, to the SAF, or to its members. It would be given to the informant as it's always been the, 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 the policy of the U.S. government not to give that one to the police opera, operating office. The intelligence aspect of the operations, Your Honor, is beyond the, my involvement. It is the intelligence group of the Philippine National Police who has that, uh, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Napeña.